turn a bad boy into Mr. Squishy? Bring Candy Girl to life and come up with the sweetest accessories? Only our magical fashion designer is capable of pulling it off. Find new amazing looks from the great Edna in our new video. Meet Batty Boy, who throws stones at windows? Batty Boy! Who's as happy as a kid about it? Batty Boy! He doesn't respect nature at all. Are these flowers? Oops! I just wanted to take a look at their roots. He neither gets along with animals. If a cat can't run away, it's not Batty Boy's fault. Batty Boy has already managed to offend the great designer, Edna, and scared her out of the blue just because he walked by. Edna meets her good acquaintance, Unicorn, but Batty Boy is already here. However, he makes a huge mistake now. He takes away Unicorn's ice cream. Don't cry, Unicorn. He won't get away with it. This rude fellow doesn't even know what awaits him. Batty Boy is looking for a new victim. Fly away, birds! But Edna is already on the warpath. Her main armor is a tailor measuring tape and it's always on hand. And while Batty Boy is aiming at a poor little sparrow, Edna is measuring him without him noticing. It seems someone will pay the price for every bad thing he's done. Boom! Voila! And naughty Batty Boy turns into a squishy. Now he is a giant soft ice cream, Mr. Squishy. Take a rectangular piece of cardboard, four by two feet, and measure out six inches at the top. Cut out an oval in the center to fit a face. Round the top part of the cardboard around the hole. Trace the cardboard on foam. Cut out two pieces. One piece is with a face hole and the other is without. Draw glaze drippings on a big brown foam rubber sheet. Cut it out following the contour. Place the glaze detail to the top and then to the bottom of the ice cream. Trace it with white paint. Paint the foam with acrylic paint. Coat it with white ground beforehand. Color the central part in a lavender shade. Paint the top of the ice cream white. Hot glue the brown foam rubber sheet cut out to the bottom part. Decorate the ice cream with colorful rhinestones. These are sprinkles. Attach a strip of foam around the perimeter. This is the side part of the costume. Leave holes for hands. Cut out additional foam pieces for the top. Attach them on top of each other to make a thick layer. This way, the top of the ice cream will hold its shape. Assemble the costume. Hot glue the other side of the ice cream. Cover the sides of the glaze at the bottom part with strips of a brown foam rubber sheet. Soft Mr. Squishy can't be a villain and a rude person anymore. He's so big and soft. Say no to bad behavior. Mr. Squishy is such a cutie. Just take a look at how happy he is to give Unicorn her ice cream back and how genuine he is apologizing. From now on, Mr. Squishy won't be misbehaving. No naughty tricks can touch his soft glaze. And now Unicorn will become his BFF. Our Mr. Squishy changed to a great extent, both outside and inside. Edna is so happy she goes back to work at her atelier. All her magical clients have dresses now and no one needs a new piece of clothing. So Edna can turn on her imagination and create unusual dresses for her new collection in peace. But a parcel ruins Edna's peace. What kind of mysterious box is that? Let's see. Oh, there is a note. This is an order from the dollhouse on Fifth Avenue. They need a look for a sweet party immediately. And it should make Barbie shine brighter than anyone else. The most important thing when you work on a design is to choose the right fabric. We need some candy shades for a sweet party and light materials. I think this pink fabric will be perfect. Fold an A4 sheet of paper in half twice. Cut off a corner and round the edges. Open the cutout. Fold fabric in half and trace the cutout on its wrong side. Cut it out. 
sew two pieces together. Cut glaze from white fabric to be in the center. Sew the pink skirt and white glaze to a piece of ribbon elastic. Sew a strip of white tulle and gather it. Sew it to the bottom of the skirt. Make a nice top with puffy sleeves from a piece of pink fabric and tulle. Attach a piece of velcro to the back to fasten the top. Decorate the glaze on the skirt with rhinestones. Well, the dress is almost ready. Edna is satisfied with what she's made. This shade of pink makes blush cheeks stand out. And these tulle sleeves make the look airy like a candy wrapper. But what will Barbie say about it? Is the client happy? Edna's phone rings all of a sudden, and meanwhile the client disappears. Where is Barbie? Edna hasn't finished her fitting yet. She couldn't have gone far away. She has such teeny feet. Any wonder is possible at Edna's Altier. The dress brought the doll to life, and now there is a living candy girl of a human size standing in front of the designer. She's so beautiful! Edna is taking a close look at the big version of her creation. We need to smooth out the folds. Hold on, what is that? Why does Candy Girl have only white socks on her feet? Cinderella's fairy godmother wouldn't allow this to happen, but Edna will fix everything now. Let it be cake shoes for Candy Girl. Draw a contour of glaze dripping on shoes. Make glaze from hot glue. Color the shoes with pink acrylic paint when the glue is dry. Paint the glaze lavender. Paint cake layers with cream filling on the heel. Attach an artificial cherry to the tip of the shoe. Make the glaze look textured with white paint and add whipped cream under the cherries. There you go! Now the look is complete! Edna checks out the last details. The designer is satisfied. Now she can go to the sweetest party in the city. All the sweet tooths will love this look. Taking a walk with Candy Girl is pure satisfaction. Except that sometimes sweet girls can be very fussy. She doesn't want to finish this lollipop. And Edna is inspired. She can make a great accessory from a lollipop. A bright and stylish hat. Paint a little hat lavender. Cover it with candies and lollipops. Attach the hat to a headband. Edna has quickly made a creative hat. This candy accessory suits Candy Girl's taste. Let's try it on. Excellent! This is exactly what this sweet look has been missing. The cherry on the cake. Oops, I mean the lollipop on Candy Girl. Edna loves it. Edna and Candy Girl are discussing the latest fashion news of the fairy tale world while walking. And poor Mr. Squishy is coming towards them. He begs Edna to give him his human look back. He is tired of being a squishy ice cream. He wants to eat in a usual way and watch a soccer match. This soft thing ruins everything but Edna is ruthless. Poor Mr. Squishy. It seems he will keep wearing this ice cream costume for a long time. Please help him. At last, Candy Girl gives in. Her heart is very soft, filled with strawberry jam. She can't stand it. That's why she gives Mr. Squishy her magical kiss. Hooray! The spell is broken. Mr. Squishy turns back into a regular boy. Thank you, Candy Girl. He's not going to have any business with Edna anymore. He will never forgive her because she's a wicked and cruel witch from a fabric store. Well, that's way too much. Great Edna won't tolerate it. It seems nothing can change Batty Boy. So let's turn him back into kind Mr. Squishy. Batty Boy didn't learn the lesson. And now he will be a soft ice cream for a long time. Did you like our sweet looks? Then write in the comments which of the costumes you liked more. Mr. Squishy or Candy Girl? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new fashion makeovers on Troom Troom.